Hey guys, WWZ Awesome, and today I'm going to be showing how to make this sweet ass effect. Well, not this one, this is my intro still. But yeah, Saturday tutorials. Sweet, it's 2.37 in the morning, and I'm making this. That's what you're Okay, so that's what you're going to make today. Let's go to 3D Warehouse, download model. I don't know who this is by because I'm super tired. But it's a WWE lighting, stage lighting rig. Okay, so we're going to open this up. Uh, my bad. We're going to open this up in a uh, warehouse editor. SketchUp. That's what it's called. Yeah, click the paint bucket. You're going to go to edit. Uh, you're going to have to change that to in model. It should be the materials. It's already preset to, but change it to in model. Uh, the things I'm clicking down here are the different lights for the object. So yeah, if that's if you these are this is what you do if you want to blue screen them out to add that extra effect. Now this is for more advanced stage making. This isn't just the basic stage with Titantron, Minitron, Overtron, and uh, LED boards. But um yes, so I'm just blue screening them both. So I could just do the basic superstar lights, different colors. If I wanted to really do something cool, I would like. I don't know. Make one pair red and one make make one pair green and the other blue. Edit the little effect. Well, uh, that's changing the background of the lighting rig, which I didn't want because then that'd just make it my whole work. So I'm just gonna hit the refresh. That's the original color. Just rotate to find a good picture. I just found it was better in front. And you can do this on a stage too. I just chose this because it focuses on what I want to do. I didn't want to edit out a whole big stage. Alright, so let's import. I imported this picture. Alright, as you can see, I imported it. Um, let's go to. Um, where did I go? Oh, yeah, I imported Randy Orton strobe lights because they're nice and easy to edit. So, yeah, just shows the effect. Okay. So, um, the upcoming's gonna be, uh, I did not mess up. I did, I didn't forget that I didn't have chroma key here on. This was a before and after. I wanted to show you what it's look like before, and I just got a message, prank call people at 2.30 in the morning. How ironic. But yeah, this is a before and after. So you're gonna go to properties, maintain aspect ratio, check that off. And you wanna do that for every video track you have not, but you don't, Okay, every video track you have on Sony Vegas that you're using for a stage, maintain aspect ratio off. Otherwise, you can't save it in HD. Alright, so blue screen this. Um, I didn't click on a spot that had the white flash. Alright, so I'm going to edit this because it doesn't look good, so I'm going to use the threshold up. And I'm sorry if you hear that. Uh, you're going to do that. Make, yeah. Just to make it look like it's good there. So I'm just showing you what it looks like. And it looks good. And that is like good for me right now. That's a little more advanced for you. That's if you want to do Randy Orton strobes or some sort. Uh, you're going to go render as. And now you can save it in HD because you hit maintain aspect ratio off on every clip. Except audio. And that will do it for us today. I hope you enjoyed our uh, Saturday tutorial and I hope to see you again in the future please subscribe and comment if you have any questions yeah comment if you have any questions or would like to see tutorials pointed out that you want to know how to make because I usually can do that all um yeah subscribe and friend for more alright peace